I love it because here we can here we can hear the stories. Students of Brazilian Public School go to Banco do Brasil Cultural Center. Maria Eduarda. It's like we are in an adventure, because we are in each page of the book. She smiles. Now, the students are in the cultural center lobby. Guilherme Pérez, student. I didn't know another way to read a book. The students are in an accessible books installation. Eliel Azaf, student. It's important because culture can be spread. The students learn sign language. Claudia Werneck greets the students. Good morning. Claudia Werneck, founder of Escola de Gente. Every person has the right to know all stories. This project began when we realized that there are no accessible books for children in Brazil. Volunteer reads the book. Claudia Werneck. We're actually providing a very interesting experience that of multiple ways of reading. Henrique, Escola de Gente. What we show to people who come by is an installation where we are able to tell a story to everybody, with or without disabilities. Luana, Escola de Gente. Children can read a book in many ways. Blind children, deaf children, children with intellectual disabilities, Down syndrome. Alberto, WVA. When we provide books in many formats, like the ones we have today, we're pointing to the possibility of inclusion. As regarding to information, and culture. More than 9 million people in Brazil are deaf. More than 6.5 million people are blind. Christian, visually impaired student. I like it because I got to know books that I didn't know. Claudia Werneck. What we want is to give to this new generation of kids a new meaning for books. The book, as we know it today, is an antiquated and discriminatory object. So, accessible literature is synonymous with strategies for building an inclusive society. Book. In the book cover, the face of a brunette girl with brown hair, smooth and short, with a fringe on the forehead. Claudia Werneck. Daydreams was the first Brazilian book published in so many accessible formats. So, it's a symbol, an icon. Alberto. The book Daydreams was published by WVA. It is groundbreaking in many aspects, besides the nine simultaneous formats. It's the first in Brazil to come with a DVD with an accessible menu, spoken in sign language. Claudia Werneck. And all that resulted in this installation. It was conceived and donated by the scenographer and art director Tadeu Catarino, who is a renowned and awarded professional. Luana. The installation is divided into six sections. In each one of them, we tell a part of the story. Claudia Werneck. Each five minutes, we blow a whistle and blink a light to call the attention of the deaf children. And then the children move to the next section. In one of the sections... See? Time to go. Great, let's turn the page. In another section, Albert with students. Here is the DAISY format section. Through DAISY, a blind person can browse a spoken file as we do in the internet. And their reaction was amazing. Nara, audio describer. I was particularly involved in the Braille section. So I asked them, what is different about this book? And the children replied, there is nothing in there. Then I say, no, there are dots. And I go, yes. So, these raised dots are letters. That's Braille. That's how blind people read and write. Patricia, actress. This section is the audio description section. I ask the kids to close their eyes or turn around so we can experience the book in another way. Nara. This is a different kind of book because it has a texturized cover. So I ask the kids to touch the cover. But since we have the description of the cover on the first page, I ask them to read it. And then many children were able to identify the relief. One of them did it perfectly. She even complained that the girl's earring is not in the relief. Teacher, the girl is without her earrings. Yes, she doesn't have them. Maria Paula, visually impaired student. Some teachers used sound, others used books, and others used TV sets. Márcia, 
principal of Benjamin Franklin School. Today we came with 71 children, deaf, with low vision and intellectual disabilities. Carolina White Martins. Escola de Gente's work is a pioneering one. It changes public policy and impacts legislation. It makes other projects possible. It has a multiplying effect. Claudia Werneck. We strengthen all these dreams, always believing that daydreams become very powerful when all the children's daydreams join hands. Hand in hand. Maria Paula. My daydream was to be here. Alberto. We have to acknowledge our differences and interact with our differences. This is what we are giving and receiving. And that's how mankind will be able to absorb the 7 billion talented people we have on the planet. Hand in hand. The screen dims.